Hello everybody. I am back with a new moon reading. <clears throat> I'm sick again. <laughs> so I don't know if you've been, whoever's been watching, has been following, but a couple readings ago I was sick. And now I'm sick again. I work with kids, so it comes with the territory. But, um, yeah. I hope everybody's doing well. Besides that, I'm good. It's a head cold, so the body is still able to function. I'm just a little bit lethargic and tired. Um, but I'm better today. I'm getting better. Still stuffy. So, our new moon is in Taurus. And, um... Horses can be very, I want to say slow moving or take, taking, take, I'm being encouraged to tell people to take their time. Um, they're also, <clears throat> also a sign that is very, um, homebody. So you may be feeling the urge to do things in your home, um, taking care of maybe rearranging rearranging your home um you could even be fixing your your temple your body rearranging things i'm hearing like you know change in your looks hair dyes um different trying different hairstyles hair is coming up a lot uh, um so there's that and oh, I'm just shuffling my cards. Thank you guys for your assistance with readings. Thank you for giving me clear messages and just thanking my guides, thanking my angels that love me. I lit this already, but we're going to light it again on camera just to give you guys a little cleansy cleanse. And we'll see where this reading is going, what the guidance is for this new moon. I like to, like I say in I think all my videos, I like to plant seeds with my, fo with my new moon. Um, things that are like of a fresh start or a new beginning. And when the full moon comes along, I like to mentally or write down the things that might block me from what I've set for my new moon and then yeah just repeat <laughs> each month I repeat so yes your message um this reading for the viewers reading for the viewers and before um actually coming on I do get messages as soon as I start tapping into this side of my brain or part of my brain and I heard I heard love love coming up some of you may get flowers from a loved one okay hold on one second Interesting. Winter. I also flipped out autumn, but it, it flipped out. It flipped in a way that I just flipped it back. It kind of didn't fully flip out. So you may be planting some things <coughs> that... Mm, investments. Okay. I'm getting too much. <laughs> Spirit too much at one time. So, first thing I heard when I saw the winter and I started talking about the autumn is right now you may be planting something and you'll see the results of it in in the winter months. And I heard, I heard investments. So, for those of you who are into stocks and things like that, some look out for something that it may not be an instant gratification but something that may grow i have to take that into consideration for myself too um 
any other cards. So on this card it says, the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. So something you're planting now. Oh my gosh. And then the bottom it's spring. Oh, look at that. Okay. And I said flowers. Your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. Somebody looking for a new job? <laughs> and I was, I was, yeah, I did get the energy of, of money. So like, I feel like whatever, you, so you're going to come up onto something. Spring. Maybe you'll fully notice what you, when it comes to your career, you're, you're, you're having ideas, ideas of where you want to go, where you want to take things. So... If you're looking for a new job or a new career switch, um, start looking now. Start looking now. So now I want to clarify these cards a little more further. Spirit. They're saying slow down. There's no need to rush. Oh, look at the bottom of the deck here. I didn't even get to finish fully shuffling, but Wheel of Fortune. So, new career showed up, but I'm hearing the desire to um, even move to a different place, home. Okay, Spirit. Let me clarify this message. Heavy on the investments. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys are going to buy a new home. Maybe you're going to work out of this home. is running one second I'm gonna edit out the blowing but I gotta blow sorry about that <clears throat> okay that went. this is another card indicating Either school, training, learning something new, um, working, someone getting uh, rewards for good work, recognition. Um, so this reading is definitely giving like career. It's giving very <laughs> root chakra energy um, because that... The root chakra has to do with your survival, safety, security, um, feeling grounded. So I've been getting this in most of my readings that people need to try to stay grounded. There's so much stuff going on that can really take your mind away from your reality. I'm guilty of it, okay? I'm a TikTok queen. I am addicted. I will admit that. So if you're looking for a job right now, you may not see that job come till until the winter, but they're saying to start looking now because it's like the opportunity, it's, it's kind of like getting a job, uh, an, an interview for a job right now, but the job doesn't start till December or your contract doesn't start or you have to end one thing and you can't start that until it is ended <clears throat> so they're saying to start looking now plant the seeds now but it is something that might be a little bit longer of a process than just getting a job and starting in two weeks um, for those of you who are in school now's a good time if you're graduating 
um, if you graduated from like college, now's a great time to look for a job. So I am hearing that. Some of you guys are actually going to go f straight from your college. Because some people don't find jobs right away. But from this reading, from what I'm seeing, um, those of you who are in college will go from college, graduating, maybe have a little time off, have a little fun, but right into your career. So congratulations. Congratulations. Not everybody's blessed to get their the job in their field right off the bat. So congratulations. Congratulations. Any other messages for this Taurus new moon? Taurus new moon. Somebody needs to eat more greens. I know these <laughs> these messages just come so random. Yeah, the messages. I like. Any other messages? So this, to me right here, again, this is a card of patience. So you may have to be patient. But the Hermit card has to do with going within yourself. Um, and going within yourself, seeking inner wisdom. Uh, so part of this message, Spirit wants... It's really focusing on the home and security. So Spirit is, is saying... Um, after this introspection, you'll slowly be coming out and being patient and coming out while you're more balanced. I love the Empress, that the Empress is here because this is all about being fruitful. And this card the most is indicating to me about feeling secure, like um, having all your ducks in order. Uh, <clears throat> and um, the next card is this card. This is a card of contentment. I feel like I'm not reading the way I usually do. <laughs> I'm kind of in my own flow. So if it seems a little different, it's because it's different. <laughs> I'm not even actually like reading past, present, future or anything like that. Um, I'm just going with what the message is from the cards, what I'm hearing when I see them. This card is to be is contentment. So these two cards to, to, together are... I want to say divine feminine energy, but that doesn't know it's not always just feminine, but divine being in your divine energy. So whichever one you're you work best in, which is balance and and I'm getting that you guys have to balance to be in this this energy. This is I'm hearing all my single ladies, <laughs> so fellas, too, but this is like being independent on your own, building something on your own. No one can tell you that they did it for you you did this on your own and the proof is there there's no one that can make any claims to your fame so continue to work in your solitude it may look like it's happening slow but i always say when things seem quiet and slow that means that something else is working out in the other realm that's when spirits at work. Taurus again is a slow moving energy, a slow moving um pace, but I mean they could get real bullish when they're ready. So there's that because <laughs> you guys are bulls and when it's when you're determined to do something, you get the Taurus is you just go. You go until it's done. I know that. Um but what I'm downloading is the need to take your time. The need to take your time with it. So let me see if there's any other messages Spirit wants. Anything on love, Spirit? Any messages on love? Any messages on love? So that was a career reading, but it was more so like a uh, stability. There you go. Stability reading. And so if you're trying to, if you're worried about being stable, the cards are showing. Don't worry about it. Just get to it. But don't rush it. So I know that might sound, it sounded a little rushed the way I said that, but get to it. 
but take your time please you may run into obstacles but in the end that seven of swords that showed up that's a that's like um having obstacles in your way but eventually triumph you're triumphant um and some of those obstacles are to sharpen you so I'm just going to ask if there's anything about love that they wanted to touch on for the collective. Anything with love. Any messages when it comes to love. I heard watch your words. Ooh. The devil. Clarify that devil card. So some some of you are going to be putting an end to a situationship. Um, you are not. Okay, I thought my camera paused or something. And I had to check where I left off. So as I was saying, um, some of you guys are putting an end to a situationship or the situationship's coming to an end. There's going to be... A not so nice exchange of words whenever I see this card not always but in this instance it's it's indicating like someone being immature with their words um, communicating in an immature way could be some ignoring and silent treatment stuff um, if you are in a situation ship and there's a silent treatment I just want you to know that the person's playing a game and they are waiting for you to reach out and, you know, you could just end it just like that by not ever reaching out. Um, they may eventually reach back out because of this toxic bond that you guys have kind of built. So, so both are a little to blame. Takes two. Um, but I see an end to situationship. See, I see an end, but I see this person will, it's like they want to, to reach out, but they don't want to be the first. This is a card of someone having an offer for you moving forward. And it could be vice versa. If you're giving the silent treatment, I, I know you want to reach out, but it does look like, um, on the bottom of the deck, there's this card. And this card has a feeling of guilt or crying over spilled milk. Um, I can hear like maybe bickering of like, what are we when we already, it's kind of already been set in a certain way already that it's been situationship. So one person wants more, one person's out the door. <laughs> oh gosh, it's so funny when I rhyme. So... Um, let me, I could ask about the ending of this situation ship. There's the same, your work cards are, I just cracked, cracked. I just <laughs> cut the deck, Wheel of Fortune. I even saw a glimpse of this card and I shuffled already from the last reading of career. Focus on your bag and your security. This situation ship could be ending because you're leveling up. So it's just not a situation that is for your highest good. So let it go. Any final messages, Spirit? Any final messages for the collective? Any final messages? They're telling me to pull from this this deck. This is a relationship type deck. More clarification on this love situation, Spirit. More clarification on the love. She said she told me to take out the deck. I took it out. What you wanna say? <laughs> what do you wanna say? about this love connection what I'm going to say about this love connection oh look see distance you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant spirit saying they're pulling you out of this <laughs> pulling you out of this situation intimacy because it's 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 um a little bit draining, reminiscing. 
So you guys definitely have a sexual connection, but is that enough to make it last? Um, <laughs> here you go. Expect to hear from them soon. That's what they wanted me to, to. That's what they wanted me to let you know with the other cards, just to confirm the other reading. Um, again, free will. Do as you wish. If it's making you happy in some type of way, just make sure it's um, not draining. Um, if you're feeling lonely, that's not the time to find somebody. Because you should find someone out of your fullness. So, um, again, there's free will. But I do see that there's an opportunity for you to get out of the situation ship if that's something that you've been trying to do. Um, it does it does give the energy that this situation ship is um, can be draining and pull and pull on the energy that you need to 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 manifest your your grounding your stability with what you got going on for yourself. So. I don't like telling people what to do. I could just tell you how it's going to play out. That's that's the most I do. And if I were you, um, I would choose myself. <laughs> I would choose myself. Um, so if you'd like a personal reading, you can catch me on your harmonic wave dot weebly dot com. That, that is my website for my phone line. You can check out my hours. Um, I am free evenings and weekends most of the time. So I think my time is 8 to 11 during the week. And um, on the weekends, the time's pretty open unless I'm doing something. But I also have another reader on the line. Her name's Kaisha. She's also a reader on YouTube. Check out her videos. Um, yeah, I will leave the details in the description box. And uh, happy manifesting. <laughs>